just hate when you're at a party and everyone has a wine glass and then you just have a table full of wine glasses that everyone put down and no one knows who's who's. One of the cool creative solutions that I'm going to share with you today is to put chalkboard paint on the base of the wine glass. I haven't done this before and I'm going to try two different techniques. First you have to get something to work on. Then you have to get your bucket of awesome supplies. So we have some chopsticks for mixing up the paint, the paint, a foam brush, some chalk because then you can, you know, use it on the glasses. Mix up the paint. Also don't forget to wash your glasses. And take one of your wine glasses and I'm dipping my foam brush in the chalkboard paint. So there's an even coating of the chalkboard paint all on the base of the glass. I left the bottom of the glass unpainted. You want to make sure you get rid of all of the streaks so that, like you don't want to see any of the glass underneath. For my second glass, we're going to try just dipping it into there and smoothing the paint out with this. The advantage disadvantage is that the base of the glass is going to also have paint on it. So let's see how this goes. The opening of my paint in my chalkboard paint is just wide enough to have this. Okay, and then I'm going to use this to remove all of the excess paint on the base of this glass. This does look really cool on top. I think that I'm going to let the paint settle over this a little bit and just keep wiping from the bottom because it's made a really smooth coating on the top that I really like. So I'm just twirling the glass kind of around on the brush to sop up the extra paint that's dripping off the sides of the base um, as the paint settles on the top. So as you can see this is much smoother on the top. Um, there is some paint on the bottom. I think for this one I am going to have it dry this way, like right side up, only because there's so much paint I don't want it to drip down the stem. I do like this technique so far. It takes about 24 hours for a chalkboard paint to dry, so put it in a safe place where it won't get knocked over and then check it the next day. I waited 24 hours for my glasses to dry and now we can take a look at the results. This is the glass that we brushed the chalkboard paint on. The light shines through a little bit, it's a little uneven, the, there are a little bit of the brush strokes on it, um, so it's a little bumpy and not evenly applied. But it looks really cute and it's, you know, very homemade looking. This is the glass that we dipped into the chalkboard paint and uh, it stuck to the magazine that I had it drying on, so let's see how this goes. That came off pretty clean. Uh, there's a little bit of magazine on the bottom and a little clump on the side of the glass. The paint is a lot smoother. It's applied much more evenly. There is some gathering of paint at the edges of the base of the glass, but overall I think this looks really good. Uh, I probably in the future would have wiped more of the paint off of the bottom, um, maybe tried to take like a paper towel or a sponge and gotten the, the paint off of the base and the edge as much as possible. This is the glass that we brushed the paint onto. I don't know if it's the chalk or the bumpy paint, but it doesn't write awesome. This is the glass that we dipped into the paint. In conclusion, I think the one that we dipped the paint in creates the smoothest and most even surface for writing on the base of your wine glass.